I'm Lisa Niven Kelly, founder of Beach Education, and I want to talk to you today about our brass head hammers. Before I got these for stamping, I would just use a household hammer, which worked okay, but then these came in and they really, really make a difference. I'm gonna demo them for you in a second so you can see more details about these hammers. But what I wanted to mention is I use the one pound for most of my basic letters, and then if the letters are more intricate or larger, I bump it up to a two pound, which really gets the job done. I also use the two pound for uh, design stamps. So the more design to a stamp, the harder it is to impress, and this bad boy will help with that. So I just wanted to show you real quick how I hold these hammers. One of the reasons I really like them is that the, ham the handle is pretty short, which is nice. I still don't hold my hand way back here because I'm a little scared I'm gonna hit my finger, which I did last week. So I hold it a little further up. I just feel like I have more control. So you can kind of feel that out and decide which way you'd like to do that. But I just wanted to show you uh, kind of where I hold it and why I hold it that way. I'm gonna strike a stamp with these two hammers. I've got the one pound and the two pound here. And the stamp I'm gonna use is our cupcake. It's got a lot of detail to it, so it makes it harder to stamp and harder to impress well. I'm first gonna try to get it completely stamped with the one pound. Let's see how I do. Pretty good. I just didn't really get the bottom too deep. So with stamps like this, you can either strike it twice with the one pound and you probably get it pretty, pretty well, or maybe try our tilt and tap method. But the beauty of this big old two pounder is that oftentimes because of the weight behind the head of the hammer, you can get it to sink in really well with just one strike. Nice. So you can see the difference there of those two. As I mentioned before, the head of these mallets are made out of brass, which is a really, really dense metal, but it's also really soft. So don't worry if the head of your hammer gets all nicked up like this. That is supposed to happen. In fact, it's helpful because if you accidentally go to stamp your stamp and you're not dead on, you kind of come from a side, the edge of the stamp will dig into the hammer and it'll still hit it nice and hard and distribute the blow. 